Then eat therapy. You can't have so thin skin, sister man. You cannot be so thin skin. Me never know say so, then. Then when you get trouble now, we not got top. <laughs> then when you get trouble now, we not got top. I see a petty. You petty bad man. No wonder you go for ugly than for cause people for you. And no, Mrs. You, you, then, you know, some of your people say you, re, you recruit ugly than. And me that say nothing, no, go so. No, no, no. You know, say no, me believe so you really, really recruit ugly than for cause people for you. So when you see ugly than on the internet, I cause people and I cause ninja man them for you. I really recruit you, recruit ugly than for you. Me, no, no, no. And your bestie, them, I tell you, say we know for talk about you. Because we love mix up. I'm going to dance all this, mama. We have to talk about it, mama. No, mama, come here. Come here, mama. We never know how to say a thin skin, man. We never know how to say a thin Mama, nightly flix then call me a clown a year. Clown and it's up there, you know. I say me no belong in a music, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. Them really, really. Nah, no man has the truth, but. Your issue was because them. <laughs> because Naro. Never agree, say. Ya yeah, Jamaica's Beyonce. They may never know, say. Me never know, say. You think, say. Ya yeah, Beyonce, not the same catholic. They are yeah, Beyonce, eh? I never know, sister. That's what you think, Tono. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. These are need crowd people. These are, these are need, you're delusional, man. You're delusional, sister. Well, everybody have a right to feel how they want to feel. And if you did feel like you are supposed to be compared with Beyonce, then it's fear. But nobody be upset because people not agree with that. Me not get upset if a person said me not in a Chris Brown league or Usher league. Is it me? Excuse me. Beyonce them. People know Beyonce right over the world. All around the world, people know Beyonce. Beyonce them, Beyonce, Beyonce come like a wolf. Beyonce come like a wolf, a wolf country by herself. Hmm. Them people in a different league, sister. Beyonce them in a different league, man. Different league. Me not think, me not think that was a bad. That was so bad we broke the camel back to you. Invite the man to tell him about him mother because him because he make up him face when them say Bob Beyonce. That I know that sister man. I mean, I'm more something more than that. I said more than that man. Then then not nobody are trouble you then. I you have delusional mindset. And people are react. You understand what I say? Yeah. But again, I don't have a problem with you telling about your mother. Because your man, them, that look crude and them nightly fix, them really, really disrespectful. Especially the boy in the room. But if you invite him, I just see you go wrong, you know, sister. And if nobody can tell you this, then. You're not going to learn nothing. And you're going to continue to be that way. You see what I say? Where you go wrong, right? In, in, in all seriousness. Where you went wrong, sister, and you don't address that in the interview. Yeah? Because, of course, they might try to be, be back in the bestie. Them, them, are, them, are, them are bestie too, you know. So they feel like, you know, they're outcast because they're not a part of the bestie movement anymore. And it's funny that Nightly Fix them would be so 
um, hurt and, 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 you know, victimized by you kicking them out of the best camp based on just your popularity. Because what's the difference with you and maybe a lady sign you know, is you are very popular and people confused popularity with talent. And that I mistake, you know. You being more popular than another person, that means that you are more talented than another person. But Nightly Fix them will disrespect that talented person and subdue or submit themselves to a popular person and claim say them know about music and claim say them are doing it for the sake of dance hall and claim say them belonging at the space where them can speak on dance hall. No, if you speak on dance hall, you have to, you have to speak on the overall thing, the talent, the image, the performance, all of them things they're recording, how much hit songs you have, all of them things there. Because a lot of people are popular, but they do not have any catalog. That, that is facts, you know. And it may be hard for some people to digest, but many people are popular, but they do not have classical songs, they do not have hit songs, they do not have a large catalogue. So, in the next 10 years time, you won't be speaking about their music. So, they have to constantly um, put forward things to create some form of drama, to create some form of hype, buzz, all of them things. And they have to keep playing the internet. So, they celebrate their audience, them online audience, and this online audience that they have is not is not an audience that necessarily buy buys their music. It's an audience that is more into um, the drama, is more into the, the gossip, is more into the mix up, is more into oh Vega says something about my artist, me I go tell him about him mother. Vega says something about my artist, me I go over there go tell him say him a, him a, him a this and him a that and call him whatever names me can feel and me can call him or write or text or comment. That is the type of people that will support you. They're not supporting your music, they're supporting you and where you represent your popularity base. You represent a popular base. It doesn't equate to sales, it doesn't equate to selling a lot of albums, it doesn't equate to um, you know getting a lot of um, um, non tickets sold when, you, when they book you for events. It doesn't equate to that. It's because some of them now left them here got pay for sale. Got them more into the gossip and the mix-up and the drama. So popularity should not be used to, 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 to um, you know, equate talented people and, 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 and popular people. It's a massive, and that's not to fix problem. They will bow down and become, you know, groupies. For somebody like you, I feel so you know, victimized by what he did. And they will continue to disrespect talented people. And call talented people non-talented. You see? So, so back to the original argument. If you can't deal with what comes to the territory, you're going to have a long, long, long time in the dance hall being miserable and being angry. Yeah, man, you have to laugh about some things to sister. You have to laugh about some things, man. Like, Red Rat is a liar. Me know Sir Red Rat is a liar. Big liar, him lie. Red Rat is one of the liar this artist ever back. The man tell a lie for me, me never know Sir Smadi could lie, so... Lie, lie, red rat, lie, bad. When me say him lie, if him for drop down tomorrow, him I go straight to hell. Me know that if he not repent, he lie, he lie. I wonder the liar this artist, but talented, very talented. 
A man who knows to make hit songs back in the days. Charlene have pretty car eyes, bad. That girl, that bad. Me would have shame. Me and you are friends, but just that you girl in the tight up skirt, bad. The man they make songs with a Chris Brown in my for sample. Can't take with that from him. But lie, bad. Lie. Unnecessary liar. Pathological liar. Red Rat is a pathological liar. Now, a man tell a lie, say, me, me see him on a truck with my ex woman. And I tell him, say, you know, see, I'm a sexy friend, girl. And me and a man and a girl never dip on no truck yet. Never, never. Me and him never dip on no truck. Nothing. Just, just make it up. Say, me lie. But in this case, with you acting like a victim to a red rat, say, and call for, and you just uh, use it to riled up your popular base, your besties. You uh, use the, the opportunity to keep your besties them in tune. It's like you have to activate them. Because if you're not about it, like you're missing for a minute, them lay dormant. Like nothing not going for the besties them. Nobody not see you, them not talk about you. But as soon as you're forward, you have to activate the besties too. You have to activate them. You have to say, yo, time now to go parry the internet and get busy. Get busy, besties. Besties, get busy. Yeah? And we understand it. It's popularity. It's not not be yourself a talent. The besties them now parry the internet and I say, yo, this is the body song. This is the best song. This is the greatest song. This is the biggest hit. They, they can't compare your work to any other artist who are doing well work. They can't compare it and say, yo, you are doing better. Popularity, being able to hold the besties them together, great. Of course, you're a businesswoman. You understand? So you have to activate the besties them. So you activate them with things where trivial. Like, I read what Red Rat said. Red Rat never disrespect you. You made a statement that you are the first dancehall artist to make a country hip-hop song. Red Rat message to Mota Masi was giving her evidence that he, he, he did one before you. And there are many people who did it before you. So he has sees a round and round pan country and western something. It's, you're not the first dancehall artist to do that. So him sending something to somebody and say, you know, somebody do this already. I'm a song actually have the same name. It's nothing wrong with that. Are you misspoke, you know? You said you were the first person that did it. So if a man sends somebody a direct message and say, you know, somebody do this long time. You know, if you act victim upon that sister, that, that, that are not sitting for the best of them take and cost red rat. But of course, you have to activate the, the best of them. You have to activate them. So you use every opportunity that, is, that presents itself to activate them. And the idiot them run around on the internet across people and arrive up on a, and when you click on some of them picture and them them gonna show up your them body cause you, you know and be some you see them neck fat and you have to come out so you just know say some overweight woman will sit at home lonely now have no husband lonely now have no nothing to do with them life and just being used you know being exploited by you the pan internet across people with them fat neck and now show don't ask anybody. Not don't ask no show. Just in fat neck you can see. And call it, oh my love, my love, my love, my love spice. No, it's not love. They are being used. They have been exploited to keep the bestie clan active together. You see? That is what it is. Red Rat no say nothing, sister. He no say nothing with fear, fear, fear go put on a live and cuss Red Rat. And remember me tell us a Red Rat lie. 
So I know they have a different red rat. But a, a dance hall space it up me now. And in a dance hall you come and do it. So when you come in a dance hall, when you when, when, when we find funny in a dance hall, you female artists, you want to be paid the same money with the man them get. You want to be rep recognized as talented as the man them. But when you don't do anything with half key, outer, outer, outer bone, you don't want people to dress you know, like females. So when you don't do nothing, you don't want the man them talk about it. But you don't want to be equated or measured up to the same standard as the man them. You see? You don't want to compare everything else with the male artist them. But when you don't do things on the outer line, nobody can talk about it. Now the woman them, come out of the woman them business. Then you create a different genre for the woman them then. And put them over a different place and put the man over a different place. You see? Country boss, I tell them about the budget show. We're going weekend. You know, can go watch it on YouTube, man. <laughs> you want to know about Buja Show? We're going weekend. Go on YouTube, right? And type in Buja Bantan in New York. As a matter of fact, you will learn more than what me can tell you about Buja Show. Because you're going to see it live with your own eye. And you're going to get to you're going to be able to infer what happened um, better than how me can tell you. Because you, in me make a dance move, I'm mean going to get to analyze it, and you are going to see the dance move. So it's going to be more rewarding to you who want to learn about what happened at the Bojo Bantan show. What I'm sharing with you now, you're not privy to. I'm doing an, anal an analysis of spice, spice's apology, spice's behavior in dance hall. That is what I am doing here. As a learned person in sociology, so I can speak on any form of social issue. You understand what I say? So that is what I'm presenting here. I'm not presenting a breakdown of Bojo Bantan's concert because you are privy to that information. You can just go on YouTube or Google and type in Bojo, his name is spelled B U J U. Yeah? Bantan, B-A-N-T-O-N. Go and type it in and type in concert, C-O-N-C-E-R-T, I-N, New York City. To, pre to be precise, Brooklyn. You see? And you get a full breakdown of what happened with the Bojo Bantan show. Or you want me to tell you how much he got paid? I'm not privy to that information. You want me to tell you what, what color socks him wear? I'm not privy to that information. Yeah. Huh? So I could get back to the analysis of Spice's behavior. Right? Yeah. So, what I say is, you can't be so thin skinned in a music, mama. Yeah. If I that make you I tell people about their mother and I invite them, you invite a man to come, come do an interview. And when the man reach and set up him camera, you took the opportunity to tell him about him mama. And tell him man, see, you tell him shoes when you have a hand. After the man don't set up the camera, that, mama, you know what that proved to me, sir? That proved to me, say you're evil. That proved to me, say you're wicked. That proved to me, say you're vindictive. And me not think you, re you, you me not think you repent. Me not think the little fake apology what you do yesterday. You better you never did do it. Honestly. Because it even look worse. Because you know why it look worse? It look like the only reason why you apologize is because you have your album coming out. Where you do the deal, and now I come tell you, say, because the man make up in face when them say you are you, 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 you Jamaica Beyonce. That never that could not justify you invite a person to your party. Dress up. You dress up in your best outlook. 
Put on makeup, put on hair, put on nails, everything. And you know, right through you're getting ready, right through you're putting on beard, shower, brush your teeth, you brush your teeth, you line up, you plan out, oh, you go tell him about him, mother, you plan it out. And you brush your teeth and you say, I want to tell him, I want to tell him, let me try, let me rehearse that, I want to rehearse that, yes, your mother, yeah. I want to rehearse it. Yeah, I want to rehearse it. You say, I say, no, man. If I were you, say make it, make it get to that sister. No, sir. No, man. That never need. The repentance should have come at one different time. Or come already. Not when you promote one album and you want people to buy the album. But I don't tell them to accept it. I just tell you, say, if I saw your thin skin, you're very dangerous. And you always, you know, I be the victim. And you're gonna continue to be a victim because people now know say so you're weak. And people get up the thing and say, oh, you're in a music and people always criticize her and people always coming for her and people always trying to attack her and she has to fight back. She has to fight back because she's in music and she not bleach and because she not bleach, you know, and she has to work very hard. Everybody in the music work hard. No people in the music now bleach. You see? And people seem to forget that you get one of the root them to be a, 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 a cornerstone in a dance hall without many hit songs. People seem to forget that. People, people forget that, you know. People, people that, that say, oh, you, like, like you have done a whole, you know, body of work where we can just go and just put in 10 songs and the 10 songs are my hit songs. You, you have like, you have, sorry to be so harsh, but it's the truth. But guess what? We give you respect because you maximize the little bit. You get respect for that. And you're a great entertainer. That confuse people when we say you're a great entertainer. But so does Bali Bali. Um Dung a roof in Dunga 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 Liquor Pub na Ochi. We sing for the tourists them. He's a great entertainer. He was not a great recording artist. So does Tanta Blacks. Tanta Blacks is a great performer. He's not a great recording artist. You see? And people confuse the, 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 the two. You have people who can entertain. But they're not necessarily great writers, great performers, great singers. You understand me? I say, in the studio. It's a whole different thing. Yeah, people out there can go on stage and they can take people's songs. And... Sing people, song I entertain, karaoke, cabaret, but they're not great writers and great singers and hit makers. And what will different ball game that? But people seem to forget that that you actually get a pass with your stage presence, your theatrics on stage. All of those things put together make you a great entertainer. You know how to entertain a crowd. Facts, hands down. Bring out a donkey on stage and say, Maka Diamond look like the donkey. Facts, hands down. Great entertainer. As a matter of fact, you started out doing songs disrespecting, dissing in a, in a dance hall way. The male artist them. And people found it entertaining. And people always try to put you in the same conversation with Lady Sa. And it is unfair. Because Lady Sa is a hit maker. You are an entertainer. <laughs> Lady Sa is a hit maker. You see? Slash great entertainer.
you're not be, you're not beyond reproach you're not beyond